if you're an older grappler, a guy who has bad knees, or you just want to hit takedowns that are a little bit more, let's say, low effort, I'd say the Russian tie is a good place to start. The Russian tie has many variations. The way I always learned it is I have the wrist with my thumb pointed up on the inside bicep. My chest is pressuring down, and I have head position. Okay, usually this guy's not gonna be hip to hip, he's gonna be squaring up to me. Yeah, here, and now we have our Russian tie. Okay, I really wanna make sure I'm keeping this uh, tight to my chest, and I'm pushing my shoulder down into this guy very tightly. So, we're gonna talk about three takedowns that we can hit pretty easily off of this Russian tie, especially with the right timing and the right amount of practice. So, my partner gives me the Russian tie. However we got here, I have head position. He squares his hips up, all right? From here, we're gonna talk about first our inside trip, our inside kick. The nerds like to call it an uchimata, but I'm American, so we're speaking English. All right, I keep it to my chest. I'm gonna step in, kick in between his legs, and I'm really mule kicking, getting his leg off of the ground, and taking his hand to the mat, and then we're shucking it through. I love this one, it's a great variation. It's very easy and low risk, and if my partner is pushing in really hard, it's gonna be very, uh, very clean. So again, I'm here, he starts to push in, push in, push in. Very simple. Our next one is gonna come from a little bit different. I go ahead and figure four my Russian tie, okay? I learned this from one of the Iranians that was uh, at the University of Cumberland's back in the day. I'm shooting my hand through, and I'm pushing into his chest. Now, I'm gonna push into this guy, and as soon as I feel him push into me, I'm gonna drag his wrist down to the mat, and it's pretty similar to the Uchimata, except without a kick and we get on top. I'm weaving, so we have a regular Russian tie. Now I weave through, taking his wrist to his chest and taking my wrist into my wrist like an X. Okay, we're continuing to push into his chest and keep head position, all right? I wanna do short, choppy steps into this guy and as soon as I feel his pressure back, I'm gonna drag his arm down, okay? So we're here, push, 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 down, and now we got our two. Our last attack, my partner's gonna have this leg forward all right, all I'm gonna do is step in and start to attack this leg. Maybe he's felt that Uchimata before, so he steps his leg back. From there, I'm dropping my other, my foot, my attacking foot here behind his ankle, okay? Now, I don't have to grab the ankle or the knee, but preferably we're gonna drop down to that ankle, pulling his shoulder down with ours, grabbing his ankle, and then we can start to come up. We'll do that one again. We're here, I step in, step, go, and now we can start to look to pass if we're doing jujitsu. If we're just doing wrestling, we can just cover, get our two, or I guess now, three. Those are three pretty slick and I'd say low energy Russian tie or two-on-one takedowns. Hope you like them.